Hello, everybody! Welcome to the final episode of Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime. It's the last bonus video. I have an idea I might make another one, but it will be very long and not a normal episode, and it will take forever to record. I'm not planning on doing it, but I might in the future. So, for all intents and purposes, just assume this is the final bonus episode, and... Off screen, I grinded up on enough stuff to make five Kafrizzles, and I just want to say... Holy cow! I'm... I don't want to do that ever again. That took for freaking ever. So, just to see, we needed five Kafrizzles. Each Kafrizzle requires six Devil's Tails. So that alone, that's a grand total of 30 Devil's Tails that I needed to get. Now, granted, I had six of them to begin with, so I needed 24. There's only one spot in the entire game that Devil's Tails actually spawn, so I literally just had to farm that one spot in Fusifer's Necropolis over and over and over again until I had 24 Devil's Tails. That was the easy part. Next, for every single one, I needed two Oracle Slimes, so that's a grand total of 10 Oracle Slimes, but I also needed one other Oracle Slime just for the upgrade, because it requires one Oracle Slime and five Kefrizzles, so I needed 11 Oracle Slimes. I had two of them. I needed to grind for nine Oracle Slimes. Each one requires an Oracolcum, which I had, like, five of, so that was fine, and each one needed five Toy Slimes. So that's 45 Toy Slimes I had to buy, and they're expensive! I had to grind... <laughs> Uh, well, actually, I didn't have to grind because I had, like, a gold bar line around, so I just sold that for, like, 10,000, 100,000 gold. So I was able to buy those pretty easily. So, and I had, like, five Oracalcums. That, that was still four Oracalcums that I had to make. And that were... No, five. I had four Oracalcums lying around, so I needed to make five. Each one requires three fire waters and a gold bar. I had one other gold bar lying around, so I can make one easily. The fire waters I had to grind on in Fusifer's Necropolis. I had to throw a bunch of those dancing flames into the water. That was pretty easy. But getting those four last gold bars... I don't even want to tell you how many hours it took to get me four gold bars. Because to make a gold bar? Guess what? You need eight holy crystals and eight goddess statues. And I said, screw that. I'm just going to kill the golems in the Flying Cautress, because they, they're random item bags that have like a 100% chance of containing gold bars. So I thought that would go for fairly quickly, but no, I had to spend like two hours in that place d d getting the gold bar. Anyways, just that's a background for all the pain I had to go through. Alright, you stupid slime mechanic. I have the last HP up. Give it to me. Goodbye, Kafrizzles. Hard come, easy go. Fifteen hundred HP. I hope it was worth it. Because honestly, it doesn't feel like it's worth it all that much. Anyhow. It's time for me to deal with the ammo for the final tank battle. Because that's all we have to do is the last tank battle in the Tank Masters mode. So it'll be a short episode. Alright. So first off, my hero sword is going in. So are my seven meteors. So I have these three tablets. The power tablet, the overdrive tablet, and the weapon tablet. I'm going to put them all in my tank to show you how they work. If you get the description, a strange slab with the letter P on it. Maybe it goes with the other letter tablets to make something. A strange slab with the letter O on it. It's designed for use with the other letter tablets. A strange slab with the letter W on it. Try carrying all three t letter tablets at once. So if you carry all three of the weapon ta of all, all three of these tablets on their head, one of each type, I believe they have to spell POW? But I'm not entirely sure. It might just be if you have one of each type, it turns into something. It turns into a pretty powerful piece of ammo, but honestly, I feel like it's not worth it, considering what you have to go through to get these, and that you have to carry them all on the head at the same time, and the fact that it gets knocked out of the sky with a single piece of ammo, but I'm going to try it anyways, because what the heck. I'm going to put in some Kaboomite. I haven't shut off the cloaking device or the claptrap, so I'll put those in as well. I have shut off the gold Vulcan gun. Put in the lightning staff, why not? Mmm... Ooh, yeah, I'll put in the chili pepper, sure. Two strong medicine, a metal keen shield, three metal keen swords. I'll put in the slime knight, sure. Ooh, I'll put in a chimeroine, I can show off what that does as well. Definitely the slime hog, definitely the edge boomerang, definitely the... that. Two golden arrows. 
And a BS2 Boo Streak. Wow, I only have one Boo Streak in my tank. That feels weird. There we go. Sorry, I thought I was playing my Switch for a second there, getting the B and A buttons mixed up. Alright. And then the crew I have... Yeah, that's a good crew. Alright, we are all stocked up and we are ready to take on the last tank battle, which will actually be pretty tough. It may well be the hardest tank battle in the whole game. Arguably even harder than Flucifer. However, I am not afraid. Alright, Mori Mori. Champion, I have been waiting for you. Are you ready for the passion again? Yes. And now, Ragazzo, now you take on the true master of tanks, the final battaglia of the tank masters, the ultimate rank. Choose your rank, Ragazzo. Ultimate rank. You want to fight this one, I? Yes. Who is the toughest tank battler in the entire world? <laughs> Bet you weren't expecting that, Rocket. You've got to take me on. This battle will decide who's the real hero between us, so we fight alone, okay? A fight to the finish. Slime to slime. This slime, it's war. Bueno Vito to Tank Masters. Yes, the hardest tank battle in the whole game is against Huli. Believe it or not. He has 3,000 HP, much like Swivel. But the difference here is, whereas with Swivel, you can have a, t a crew, Huli, you have to fight alone. So you can't do the strategy of you go into Huli's tank and beat him up. Because then you won't be shooting anything out of your cannons. So you literally just have to be better than Huli. Alright. So we have to choose a tank. Part of me just wants to use the Schleeman tank. Yeah. We're gonna use the Schleeman tank for the final battle. I think it's appropriate. Let's start the Bataglia. And so, the Bataglia of Bataglia! With the Tank Masters numero uno! The Ragazzo of Ragazzo's Rocket versus... The Macho Maestro of Slovenia. It's... Huli! Let's get it on! It's the Schleeman tank, the hero of Slovenia versus the Shogun. Enter the Holly Guns. He's got his own kick butt tank. Let's take him on. Battle stations! Fire at will! Okay, Rocket, time to see who's best. And we get the epic tank music as well. Alright, Huli, do your worst. So here's the thing Huli sucks as a crew member in your tank. Hoovy's insanely good when he's piloting his own tank. Like, way better than he is when he's trying to in your tank. It's like, really, Hoovy? Come on. So the Clive Trap, if you throw on the ground, it'll turn invisible. And then if Hoovy steps on it, he's gonna take damage. Now, the Chimera Wing, I really only want to show off if, uh... If Hoovy enters my tank. Because you might be wondering, well, hey, Chimeroween takes ammo that you throw it on back to town. What happens if you throw it on a piece of ammo in a tank? Or a character that's in a tank? Well, first off, I'm stacking these uh, tablets in a corner for when they're all here at once. If you throw a Chimera on a piece of ammo or a character who's in a tank... Instead of taking it back to town, it'll take it to the other tank. So if I threw it on a piece of ammo that I have in here, what would happen is it would fly into Hui's tank. If Hui tries entering my tank, if I throw the Chimeroine on him, he'll fly back to his own tank. And he threw the Kafrizzle. I'll keep that close by at hand. So yeah, Huey's got a bunch of really, really good ammo, and he's just pretty skilled all around. And honestly, the cloaking device, it makes me invisible. Wow, that looks really, really bad on the emulator. It's time, definitely, for the chili pepper. Knock his stuff out of the sky. Oh, it didn't knock the stuff out of the sky! This Kafrizzle still got through somehow. All right, Hoovy, eat some dynamite. All 
Yeah, take that, Huli. It's a lot less ammo getting fired because there's only one of us in each tank. And I have taken out a higher percentage of his HP in his tank than he has of mine. Okay, we've got all the tablets. And we have a metal kin shield up there. Awesome. All right. So let's spell POW, shall we? What happens? It turns into a drill. Also, who he has hero swords. So if we throw this out the tank, it basically functions like the drill in the bully mammoth tank or the carrot top tank. But it's a bit better. Unfortunately, it's not durable whatsoever. It a single piece of ammo will knock it out of the sky, and it's very slow. So I'm gonna throw it behind this metal kin shield. If it hits his tank, it'll deal a lot more damage than the Carrot Top or the Bully Mammoth Horn. But it's also just very easy to knock out of the sky. I'm gonna keep that or Slime Knight, or actually I shouldn't, because he has a ton of HP left. Alright, I'm gonna leave Huli a little surprise. So, it, it turned invisible. Which means he can't see it, so he's gonna run right over it and... Clamp! Wait, what? How many mirror shields did he throw out? Oh, that's bad. The drill's coming right back at me. I'm gonna wait for those to hit his tank. And then I'm... Boom, okay, cool. Made a right call for the chili pepper, I must say. Okay, so he does have mirror shields. He's been very quiet. This is why I wanted the whole episode to do this, because it's a long tank battle. Because he has 3,000 HP and there's just you in the tank, so he knocks the stuff out of the sky really easily. I actually just realized if the lightning staff hits my tank, it's not that big of a deal. I can literally just chuck it right back out of the cannon. Is that the best you can do? I didn't even feel it. Alright, Huli. Oh shoot, that's a hero sword he's shooting at me. Okay, that's fine. If the hero sword hit, that's fine. I just wanted to knock those kafrizzles out of the sky. Uh-oh. Oh, that's bad. Look at all those Metal Kin Swords! Oh, that's really bad. Why is it whenever I throw Kaboomite out the window, he has a piece of ammo waiting right there so it blows me up instead? Okay. Now let's test to see if it'll still work, even if it says WAP. Nope. It actually has to say POW. It literally has to say POW. Well, this is bad. So the nice thing is, if you run out of HP, he stops shooting stuff out of his cannon, so you have free reign to do whatever the heck you want. The bad thing is, if you run out of, if he run out of HP, Huey will come in and try to knock out your engine, and he is actually really, really tough to KO. Oh, please hit. Oh, please hit. Yeah. 105, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. So it deals quite a bit more damage than a simple uh, drill does. But here's the feign. Because it only it, because it gets knocked out of the sky super easily and it requires three pieces of ammo to actually put together. And it's such a pain in the butt to put together, and if you have partners in your tank, they will throw individual tablets out the window. It's not worth it. Especially since the hero sword, and even I'd say even the Kafrizzle is a better piece of ammo. Oh, 
Oh wow, lightning's going off in Huey's tank. This is amazing. Oh no, no Kafrizzles for me, thank you. I hate how heavy meteors are. Holy cow. <laughs> no way! I can't lose to you! I've literally given Huli a different voice every time I've uh, he's come up. I apologize. I've never had a set voice for Huli. Uh oh, that's not good. Where's the overdrive tablet? Should be there somewhere. I'm gonna put some more presents there for Huli. Put one right in front of my tank engine. I think that's a good idea. Alright. W. Alright. O. P. That spells WAP. Hmm, this is not good. Oh, that's real bad! Come on, Edge Boomerang. Help me. Wow! Nice going, Edge Boomerang. Very well done. Knocked a Hero Sword out of the sky. You know what? Make me run out of HP. I don't care. I don't give a rip. Because I've got some presents for you. Ha ha ha! Sorry, Rocket. You can't beat me. So now I have to watch my tank like a hawk, because look how freaking fast he is! And he's carrying Inca Frizzles. So, there we go. I'll get you back, Rocket! Is he dead? Oh my gosh! Yeah, I killed him. Ha! There's still plenty of fight left in me. But he dropped Inca Frizzles in my tank. I can do away with him. And also, by the way, that's going to finish him off. So if you try Elasto Blasting him, he'll jump over you! No! Not my beautiful Shogun! And I just made him fly back to his own tank. Okay. Slime Knight. This is amazing. It's the showdown. This is the ultimate showdown of Ultimate Destiny. <laughs> hey, Huli! Yoink! Yeah, he's actually really hard to hit because he jumps everywhere. And I'll get you back, Rocket! So I love how both of our tanks are destroyed and damaged, and his looks like it's crying. He's like, ah! It also looks like a heel slime now, which is what Huli is. Hey! Take your shoes off in my tank! Oh, you're gonna want to come back, oh yeah! He's like, wait! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Rocket's going to my engine! That's it! Get out of my tank! Goodbye, Huli! I'm the best! You won, but only just. And that's everything in Rocket Slime, basically. <laughs> Truly magnifico, Ragazzo, the most ecstatic Bataglia I've ever seen. Now you have climbed to the very top of the Tank Master's arena. You are the true master of tanks. My congratulazonia, champion. This is for you. We get a hero sword! That is the only other hero sword in the game. But the arena is still waiting for you any times, Ragazzo. Waiting for your passion! 
So yeah, that is essentially everything in Rocket Slime. The only two things I believe I've not shown off are the two different types of multiplayer, and I can't show those off, because those don't work on an emulator, obviously. And I can't record my DS! So, yeah. But I, I can go over them. So the first type of multiplayer is the single card multiplayer. So on the DS, if you have one copy of the game, the person with the copy of the game starts it up and does single card multiplayer from Duck Door Sid's Garage, and people can do DS download play for Rocket Slime, even if they don't have the game, and you all do the gold surfing game. Kinda sucks. However, if you have multiple people with d multiple copies of Rocket Slime, you can have two people with a DS, each one with Rocket Slime in the DS, and do multi-card battle, and that is so much better. You each have a tank with your own ammo and your own crew. You can pick colors that you want to be, you can choose what tank you want to be, and you literally battle each other in tanks. It's amazing. My older brother Link and I used to do that all the time, and we had a blast, and he was actually better than I was at that. Yeah, I needed to work on my strategy, clearly, but yeah! That is literally everything that I can show off in the game. If I do another episode of Rocket Slime, it will be me uh, doing a very detailed video on every single item and every single monster, what they do, what their stats are, and how to farm them. That will be a giant video, I am not promising that, but if in the future I'm like, you know what, I want to go back and do that, then I will do that. But uh, no promises. Thank you so much for everybody who watched this Let's Play. I really hope I got to show you off uh, an amazing DS game that you had no clue about. And I hope you're inspired to go out and buy a copy of your, for, of your own right now. Because this game is insanely fun. One of my favorite DS games. And the fact that few people even know it exists is just a tragedy. Because it's just a fantastic game. So much fun to play. Just very well done on all counts. Thank you so much. Capcom for making this game. It was amazing. Or maybe it was Square Enix. I actually forget. Whichever company made this, thank you so much for making this. It, You made a truly fantastic game. Thank you all so much for watching, and until we meet again for my next Let's Play, my friends, have a great day, and God bless you, my slime. Bless you wherever you are.